it's too fake for me. What's up my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you are not yet a beautiful butterfly, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on, and do not miss an update every time your girl uploads. How are you guys doing? Um, In high school, if you knew me, I was very much quiet, kept to myself, because I just didn't feel the need to really. It wasn't like a stuck up thing, that's just, was my personality, that's my personality now. If you don't come up to me, I'm not talking to you. I had that group of friends I came to that school with who I was friends with in our middle school so I was like all right I have the friends who I came to high school with from middle school you know I'm gonna roll with them so that's what I did I just went to classes kept my head down did what I had to do in that school guys it was far away from where I lived it was the school was pretty much pretty ghetto and there were just fake people there if I needed to be nice then I would be nice I don't associate myself with certain people not being rude it's just like you know as people get older we go our separate ways and people just act differently I thought I would be friends with the people in high school coming out of high school that wasn't the case a lot of students going from class to class you separate from the classes you have with certain people after the bell ring we would go to the buses which would be outside of our school and it would take us to train stations and then from there we just get on the regular mbta buses when i first started this school i had the mindset of okay i am not making new friends i'm not gonna lie guys like i would be more goofier in classes with the people that i knew it would be like kind of distract a little bit and because of that my classes did one point in time go down and i was just getting distracted with boys having different situations with people and at that i had to be up very very early just to catch a bus to go all the way there and mind you guys the school was on a swamp if you miss the school buses are going to be taking that MBTA bus, you're going to be getting off at a certain point, and you're going to be walking a good, good distance, a far distance. When I was able to take school buses, I would take the school buses. Even if it wasn't my bus to get on early in the morning, I would just get on any bus that would take me to that school. I had a good group of girlfriends. The closest friend that I had going into that school i'm gonna name her green kind of like the jokester of the group if she wasn't there then the rest of us really like wouldn't like talk that much wouldn't joke around that much because like you know she would kind of be somewhat the glue to the group green introduced me to her friend that started to go to our school i'm gonna name her orange orange I got this weird vibe from Orange instantly, not even because of the way she was looking. Like, yeah, she was funny here and there, but her vibe was just very, very, very strange. Like, fake type of strange. Like, when I first met her, I was nice, of course, but I wasn't open to wanting to get to know her because she was just like, I can just tell off rip how your vibe is. Like, one day we was all in the little library a couple of people in the library i don't i forgot like who again this was like high school days orange didn't like purple at the time she didn't like her and she was in the group of friends and she would kind of like talk trash about her and i would notice purple was my friend at the time too so i was just looking at how orange was talking about purple and me and green would give each other that look like because we were both friends with her. So it's like, you know, that's kind of like awkward a little bit. When I noticed Orange did that to Purple, I was like, yeah, girl, you're fake. You're fake. I can't like associate myself with you. I don't want to like, you know, I'll tolerate being around you because you're Green's friend. But at the end of the day, I really kind of like keep my eyes open when you're around type of vibe. And I don't want to do that when... I have friends, you know, I just want it to be fun, chill, 
no competition nothing like that at all that's just that's not a friendship if you have to worry about stuff like that and that was the case with her introduced me to her so i'm trying to have an open mind trying to be nice only putting up with her because she's green's friend keep that in mind so green had this person she would call her sister i'm gonna call her blue so it was me green and blue so me and blue was not close like me and green was close Blue went to a different school so throughout that like you know how you have three friends and then like y'all branch off and y'all have like you know like the two friends become close that's how me and green was like me and green became very close but because blue didn't go to the same school as me and green did they would spend their time outside of school and they would spend their time together but most of the time me and green would be together in school talking like all of that blue went to a different school and the boy went to me and green school so i had no intentions none of that nothing i'm gonna tell you guys i'm gonna jump right into it me green mind you orange i don't know how orange felt up like again i felt like orange was like jealous of me there would be times when green would actually fall off with orange because she'll be like weird sometimes like you know she'll sometimes she won't even talk to green she'll hang out with different friends and like green would tell me like like you know she's being weird and like she's being fake and stuff like that orange isn't talking to green like that but she'll talk to some of the friends mind you orange would talk to purple the girl that she said she did not like the girl that she was talking trash about she would talk to purple more than she would talk to green but you say you didn't like this girl but you're oh child you say you didn't like this girl but you're hanging with her i noticed that okay cool green's not around you don't talk to me you just talk to me when green is around in my head i'm thinking all of this but of course i'm not saying it. i'm just paying attention to how people are moving seeing this guy around here and there inside the school like i said i'll be quiet i'll talk to a select few people in that school and i'll keep them moving i'll see him here and there i wouldn't talk like i wouldn't talk to him i'm not the type to just go up to a guy and just start talking to him but i would see that he would start looking at me i don't even know if he knew my name i don't even know if we had each other on facebook we have each other on Facebook now to this day. I wasn't paying him no attention. I didn't even know his name. None of that. So, the girl. So, mind y'all. Blue is telling me how she likes this guy. And how she wants to start talking to him. We would talk to each other here and there. But it wouldn't be... Like, me and Blue wasn't close like me and Green was. Me and Green was like this green is like she wouldn't tell me that but she said like oh she's like she likes this guy mind you green didn't tell me his name so the guy sends me a friend request on facebook i accept it and he proceeds to tell me how he really likes me. He's seen me in the halls. I look like a cool girl. Well, I wasn't really like, I was paying attention to boys, but like at the time I really wasn't because I also, not recently, but like was dealing with someone outside of school. I think that's when I was like around 16. Things wasn't like going how I wanted it to go. So me and him, we wasn't talking at that time. And he's the guy who like, you know, took like the V card and all of that. So we wasn't talking at the time. This guy came around, I'm gonna name him Black. Black came around and he was just like, you know, making me feel like, giving me compliments, stuff like that. Being very nice to me, saying the right thing. So I was like, oh yeah, okay. I kind of like him. Didn't even talk really in school. We would talk more so on Facebook. You know, we're not really talking. Like, we're just passing each other, probably giving each other a hug here and there. That's what it was. That's all it was. One day, I tell Green, I'm talking to this guy. I really like him. Mind you guys, we haven't hung outside of school. We barely talked like that. And even outside of school like i said i haven't met up with him There's going to different classes i will see him here and there in the hallway sometimes i won't because again he won't come to school or he'll skip classes whatever he was doing 
or if I'm lucky, see him while I'm coming up from lunch in the halls. So I saw Green. I really like this guy. Da 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 da. We just started like talking. All of that. So she's like. Well, I'm happy for you. Who is he? Because she was like, she already knew my situation at the time with the guy who was outside of school. She already like, like I said, I would talk to her. Ooh. And at the time, guys, um, before I told her his name, I was like, oh, he said he wants to talk to me. I don't know if I want to talk to him because, again, I was just dealing with a situation I was trying to kind of get over but I didn't know if I wanted to start talking to anyone because the person who I was thinking of at the time and dealing with at the time he was like you know he took something very special from me and had feelings for him already so it was hard trying to like get over him like I still wanted to talk to him so I was like yeah girl I don't know if I'm gonna talk to him he asked um can we start messing around and stuff like that and I told him like I don't know so I tell her his name and that's when she's like oh blue talks to him are you gonna talk to him and I'm like if she talks to him I don't know if I'm gonna talk to him or not because it's like one me and blue is not close like that but she at the end of the day she was my friend and she was saying how she really likes a guy but she wasn't talking to him so i was confused she mentioned like i said green would tell me some stuff but she wouldn't tell me everything she mentioned how she really likes this guy she thinks he's cute all that didn't say anything about talking to the guy she was so-called telling me about that she was telling her about she didn't tell me any of that she just told me like she was interested in the guy he's cute that's it so basically she's like girl that's who blue talks to again guys pay attention she didn't mention she talked to him green did not mention the things that blue was saying to her in detail she was just saying like oh she talks she is interested in this guy she thinks he's cute this and that didn't even give me a picture didn't even say a name none of that but he goes to our school there's mad people who go to that school so how am i supposed to know and i wouldn't do anything malicious like that because again she was my friend too at the end of the day i wasn't as close to her as i was to green but she was still my friend i wouldn't do that to a friend like you know i wouldn't um but at the same time it's like he was like basically helping me like be happy again just by simply having innocent conversations with him again mind you we would see each other in school just hug each other here and there go to class we didn't even have full conversations in the halls any conversations like that green calls me and this is where the story is going to get interesting she's like you're gonna talk to him i'm like i don't know if i'm going to because i didn't know that that was the guy she was like you told me that she was telling you about and i didn't know that he was talking to anyone and i didn't know that she was talking to him like you didn't even tell me the guy she was talking to you just told me like oh he goes to our school there's mad people that go to that school how would i know that like you know i didn't do anything like that on purpose and she was like this is what she tells me if you want to do it you can do it um i just want you to be happy just know that be happy and lou wasn't even talking to him she just said he looked good and whatever the case was with that that's what she says to me so i'm like okay thank you for that like it made me kind of feel better because it's like oh if you're saying she said he's cute um and they're not talking but you told me what well, before we got on the phone through a message they're talking before you called me and then you on, were on the phone and then you're telling me oh they don't talk she just thinks he's cute what are you going to think honestly you're gonna think okay she just thinks he's cute they're not talking i think she is cute we don't talk but i do think that she likes me i heard around that she do like me and i was like okay crush on him they're not talking they haven't had any conversations that's what he's telling me and that's what also green told me so i'm like okay maybe i can talk to him and at the time, 
me trying to be a good friend because like i said i don't do that to my friends you think a person's cute but i'm actually talking to the person and you're not talking to them how i'm talking to them but you just think they look good that's what's playing in my head that's what i'm thinking so i was still hesitant because i was like dang i wouldn't like i kind of want to feel right because like you know she's she's my friend even though we don't we're not close and we barely talk she's still my friend I'm out of school thinking everything is everything with the whole group of friends we're green too we're laughing all that they go they ask me if i want to go with them to track practice or whatever and i was like that's crazy because i would have went um i'm just gonna go home no signs of nothing no signs of nothing and they're like oh, okay they go to the little practice as soon as i get home selling i get a call facetime call from green i'm like why does this girl call me i pick up green answers the phone she's looking at me and then blue grabs the phone so i'm like oh hi girl i say hi to her cool none of that before she even grabbed the phone from green i say what's up to green green is kind of quiet than usual then that's when blue grabbed the phone and she's looking at me i'm like oh hey girl what's up thinking everything is everything she's like you're mad fake you're really a hoe you would really do that to me in my head i'm like girl how how we don't even talk passing each other in the hallways i see him going to class to class barely if that all of our conversations that we always have is always on facebook we don't even have conversations like that in person at all we just hug each other and go to our location that we're going to so she says that i'm just looking at my phone guys i'm <laughs> i'm probably crazy but i'm really just looking at her like and i'm kind of like smiling a little bit and she was like you think it's funny <laughs> for real are you really for real so and i'm thinking of how fake green really was that day because like, you're gonna be laughing a key key keying with me you're not gonna say hi to me when i when like you call me on facetime you're gonna let her snatch the phone that's some weird type of vibes like you know like i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but that's weird i have a feeling like they was low-key talking and she was kind of like agreeing with her saying like yeah she's not fake she's a whole blah, 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 this and that um and she called me that's really crazy you say you're gonna talk to him i'm just still staring at the phone and i'm smiling things have obviously been miscommunicated through greens and because what i told her is getting kind of mixed up on what she told you and you're not hearing all of what i said to her not even just half of the things she's telling you bits and pieces of things and now she's telling me everything that green told her that i said to her i'm just like wow green you're really fake because i didn't even say that i said i don't know if i'm gonna talk to him and you told her i'm talking to him if you tell me a story a situation and then i happen to hear it coming out your mouth again but twisted oh you a motherfucking fake ass bitch this and that this is why the three-way friendships kind of don't be working because there's always something that goes wrong with that so she's like yeah you're fake this and that da, 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 da. click before i can even say more and i'm like when i take my phone off my ear and i start laughing i just put my phone down I'm like wow wow that's all i'm saying to myself and i'm like yeah she's really fake for that you're not gonna say oh this is what you said you're not gonna say any of that you didn't tell her 
oh whatever you choose to do i'm gonna be happy for you i think you should talk to him she don't even talk to him she just likes him you're not gonna tell her that you said that you want to be quiet about it i also brought that up she was quiet she didn't say anything so I was like, okay i see how this is going boom go to school next day not holding no grudge especially against green not holding any grudge against green why the whole group of friends i guess green told green and blue probably was talking about it in a group chat and probably added the rest of the friends to the group and was just they was basically bashing me in that group chat i you know how you just feel it like the tension you just feel it i'm trying to joke with them talk to them nothing 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 not even from green She's kind of like not even really talking to me like that. I'm noticing it. I'm like, mm, I see how this is going. And one thing I don't get is Green told the rest of the group of girls false information. Because it's like, how do y'all all turn against me over one boy? Over one boy I'm not even dating. She wasn't even dating him. I was not even dating him. How y'all all turn against me over this one boy y'all didn't even hear my side of the story i heard what she told you and y'all all turn against me that's how i know y'all are all fake and y'all never liked me from the start so they all dubbing me not talking to me but i'm not dumb in my head i'm like oh okay it's because of this it's because of this cool so i go to class to class by myself dolo guys when i tell you dolo in that school do, 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 dolo i had two boy boyfriends not boyfriends but like i had two boy friends i would like talk to here and there in classes like we would clown a lot and joke around a lot so i would be with them kind of um but we barely had classes like that but whenever i was able to be with the two boyfriends that i had at the time i would be with them so i'm just with them now the whole thing just changed like it's all the group of girls and it's me and it's because they didn't even hear my side of the story of what green and blue told the group of girls it made it look like i was being fake excuse me guys it made it look like i was being fake i was being sneaky it made it look like i was being like one of those whole type friends. So Dolo in school, going to classes, going to lunch alone. This happened for a couple of weeks. No lie, guys. They cut me off completely because I felt that vibe because like I'm not a fake person and just how they was moving. I just like they already separated themselves from me. So I just did my part as well. Was going through my own problems. Even though I had like the people I would talk to here and there. And before like the couple of weeks even passed. The next day I go to school. They all acting fake towards me. That same day I come home. Get an inbox from one of the girls. From Purple. Really crazy how you did that to Blue. I can't respect you. Girl. Pump your brakes. First. I'm gonna let you know how you was a fake bitch. Just five motherfucking examples. Pump your brakes didn't hear my side of the story you're acting like this is your dude and it's not so by animosity bottled up i had all that anger bottled up so how they was treating me how they was acting towards me and i was just pouring it all out to her i was like number one i was breaking it down to her i was like number one girl you didn't even hear my side of the story so don't try to tell me i'm fake when you didn't even hear what i had to say I told her how it went, all of this. I was like, she wasn't even talking to the guy. This is not her boyfriend. She just said he was cute. I told her what Green said. I was like, Green said I would be here for you. I would talk to you Um, if you need anyone to talk to. I think you should talk to him. Go for it. It'll make you happy. Like, she was agreeing with me. So whatever she told you is lies. Whatever they told you is lies. No lie, guys. She was like, dang, I'm sorry. I feel bad now. Um, I just thought that you really did that to her i was like no you see this is what you get 
for being a little follower, not hearing what I had to say, not hearing the whole story at that. And after that, she said something else. I forgot what she said. She was like, yeah, girl, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. And after she said that, I just left her on scene. I left her on scene because it's like, you was never really my friend if you can easily turn on me in a snap of a finger because of what you heard. No facts what you heard from someone else. You didn't come to the main source about it. You just, oh, really? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, so we not friends with her anymore? Not gonna talk to her anymore? We're gonna ignore her? Oh, say less. Because you're letting them put things in your head and being a little follower. Now, I'm not looking at you the same. I lost all, I told her that too. I lost all respect for you because how dare you not come to me, talk to me. And you easily being like, you easily following them. All of a sudden, orange and green, they become closer. I'm like, there's a lot of, all this fakeness is too fake for me. Okay, this is probably happening for a reason, but all this fake activity, I cannot get with. I'm noticing y'all was just basically all talking trash about each other when we were all friends, and now all of a sudden, because y'all against me, y'all have something in common. In that whole school, I am dolo with no one. No friends, no this, no that, and that's why I don't have friends to this day. I only have one best friend. She hasn't ever switched up on me. I haven't ever switched up on her. That is my one true friend. Y'all never really liked me. Y'all would've heard what I had to say. Y'all didn't even hear anything I had to say. Y'all heard what Green told you. Y'all heard what Blue told you, and y'all all just cut me off. I felt like that wasn't right. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, my feelings was hurt from that. My feelings was really deeply hurt because I'm like, dang, like, and it's like, <laughs> and they stopped talking to me, I'm like, dang. And at the time, I was still inboxing a boy. And even after the situation happened, I was just like, they all turned against me. I was telling him, like, vent to him because I had no one to vent to. Didn't have no one to vent to, didn't have no one to talk to, because all literally, not even be dramatic guys, all of my friends I had turned on me. They stopped being cool with me. And I told him like they all switched up on me because I started to like you and Blue, he wasn't even talking to Blue and he showed me that he was even talking to her. And he was like, yeah, that's crazy. They would never be your real friends anyway. Like he was making me feel better. But then I was just like, because I don't want all this drama, I don't, like, I'm not one for the drama. Uh, I was like, yeah, I don't think I can talk to you anymore. Like, I don't have no one now. And he was like, I respect it. Um, if you still want to talk to me about anything. Because I told him, like, they all switched up on me and stopped talking to me. I don't have no more friends anymore. Um, he was like, if you ever need to talk to me, just feel free to, like, you know, inbox me pull me aside in school like you know I'll listen to you I'll talk to you be here for you and that's crazy because I didn't even know him like that at the time like I said we didn't chill outside of school we didn't even call each other on the phone we just you know our source of communication was just strictly through Facebook I just seeing them it's like it was kind of bittersweet because it's like one like it was bitter because y'all are all fake Y'all all switched up on me that quickly. Y'all all some fake hoes. I don't care, y'all all fake. Y'all are dubs. And then it was sweet because it was like, I just remember like the memories we had. We would just kick it, joke around and stuff like that. And it's like, I have, I'm, I'm a pure person. I have pure intentions. So it's like, even when we was in like classes together and we didn't get along and they make little jokes, I would low key laugh at them but i wouldn't show them that i was laughing at them but it was just like dang like i miss y'all like you know stuff like that it's the class we all had together i think it was in the morning i forgot what the argument was about but i just like honestly i had that weird vibe from armin from the start and it's like you want to be a little follower too jump on the hate train jump on it that's the difference between me and them they needed a whole group of people to not like 
this one person, me. They needed this whole group. That's what they all had in common to not like me. Here are little snickers in class, and I think that's what happened. Um, Arnold was like snickering or something. I'll look back, like probably just to see like what was going on in the back, and she'll be staring at me. And I think she said a smart comment. I said something back to her. Then we was arguing like that. Then the um day passed or whatever. And then after that, I went to the bathroom. It was green and orange in the bathroom. And as soon as I came in the bathroom, they wasn't even using the bathroom. They were just in the bathroom, like, you know, standing by the sinks. They looked at me, what I did, walked, used the bathroom, walked next to the sink near them, washed my hands, took my time. As I'm doing that, they're kind of low-key just staring at me and then looking at each other but they're not saying anything y'all can do this in groups but when i'm face to face one-on-one -on -one with y'all y'all are silent like that's like there was no lie guys they was on some bullying type stuff and i wasn't feeling that like i don't do bullying at all um i didn't need a group of people to back me up i was dull by myself and they needed this whole group of people to make them feel good and be tough. I didn't, that was the difference between me and them. This one situation happened where me and the girls almost got into an altercation with each other and I told my mom about it. Yeah, they don't like me still because of this one situation, I almost got into an altercation with them. And because I almost got into an altercation with them, my mom was like, yeah, that's one thing we're not doing because I'll really hurt someone's kid. You're far away from where my mom is. Like, I can call if I needed, like, the help, but it's like we were so far away. It's like, would she even get there in time? And I'm by myself at that, so it's like, if they was to, like, jump me or something, I'm by myself. It's like, if someone really tries to do anything to you, we're gonna hurt them. Like, that's what my family was basically saying. So my mom basically pulled me out of that school. I stopped going to school for like, no lie, probably like three months. Even though I had a group of people, a group of girls who did not like me at that school, I was like, dang, like I really miss going to public school, having those friends. But they all switched up on me and even though they all switched up on me, started acting funny towards me, I genuinely just, I don't know if I'm, it's because like I'm a real friend or something like that, or I just have like pure intentions, but like I low key like miss them. In the back of my mind, I'm just like, no, F them. Like they all wanna switch up on me over this one situation that happened and they didn't even hear my side of the story. They was never my friends, so. Over time, I was just starting to realize that, coming to terms with it, I missed prom or whatever i missed that because again my mom had to pull me out because of that whole altercation situation between me and a group of girls she had to pull me out of that school and that's why i stopped going to that school and i transferred to the school that i graduated from and i had to go to the school to because the teachers and stuff they already was hip they already was alert of what was going on how i was transferring they already know because my mom called complained she was like if someone touched my daughter i'm really gonna hurt someone's kid to avoid this this is what's gonna happen she's like transferring da 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 after that i went to the school because they had like a mcas thing packet for me to do and i had to do it and then just bring it back in and you know like that was it so the day they was about to take mcas or the day they was taking mcas i show up walking in that school dolo haven't been to the school in like three months three and four three or four months haven't been to that school see the two girls they looking at me like they seen a ghost like oh shoot see the whole group of girls too they looking at me like they seen a ghost the people in that school was just looking at me like they seen a ghost like where did you come from people in the hallway 
you know you can hear people kind of like whispering and stuff that's how it was because people was talking once they see me coming to school not even being dramatic it felt like a whole movie to go get my MCAT stuff went to the bathroom seen green seen armors there they always like i don't know it's weird it's like they always in the bathroom every time like i'm there or something is weird went to the bathroom washed my hands went out heard like a little chuckle here and there go by because if you really want to do something you could have did it you had the opportunity to while i was in the bathroom you didn't do nothing i had the opportunity to do stuff to me y'all didn't do it because i was alone plenty of times in that school dolo y'all didn't do anything to me i walked out y'all didn't lay out a finger on me y'all want to do all that talking though y'all can do all that talking popped out they was probably talking about me. I didn't care because, like I said, I was so used to, like, being comfortable with being alone. So, you know how you have, like, the little gifts people was doing on Facebook? Like, you can make, like, a video or a picture of a gift or something. A couple of weeks went by, I think. And this is how I know they made a group chat about me, like, the girls. It was, like, in that group chat, I definitely was talked about. I know that for a fact because i posted a gift i think it was like a video of me of like my face i was like posing or as like a picture of me and i think i had like my tongue out to the side like something like that and at the time i was friends with this stud on facebook who was once my friend um but i didn't like unfriend her so she shared my stuff and green commented under it and a few of the girls commented under it and they was like basically laughing at it like they put the laughing eyes and then um green was like check the group chat i don't know i seen i was friends with the, the stud girl and green was friends with her on facebook so when she commented i, I automatically seen it and i just seen like the like, you know, check the inbox, seen you know, the laughing faces, like the LMAO. And I didn't comment because it's like, I knew I was better than that. He still didn't like me after it's been that long, after that situation happened. Y'all making a group chat about me. Like, I bothered y'all that much. Like, I don't know, it was weird. And it's like, I don't talk about this because, again, it's something that happened so long ago. And it, it is what it is, honestly. I just, like, I peeped it and just unfriended the girl. You're just another person just to unfriend. Like, I was just so over it. Like, I was like, you want to kiki, chuckle? You can just get unfriended. Learn from certain situations that happen. And after that, guys, honestly, most of them stop being friends with each other like they don't even hang out with each other anymore and it's like y'all did all that for what two other girls in the group they didn't reach out to me but like they got me on facebook again and they would like my pictures here and there trying to be my friends and stuff but it's like i seen what y'all did like you know y'all basically low-key like bullied me while we was in high school y'all turned on me that easily while we was in high school it's like now that we're not in high school now that you're not friends with some of the girls anymore or friends with the girls at all y'all just want to try to be friends with me now that y'all see me it's like i don't have no hate towards you but it's like just keep it moving just keep it moving like you know like i seen how y'all was treating me seeing y'all made a whole group chat i'm good off of it i wouldn't change anything that happened but be sure to like this video comment and definitely subscribe and become a butterfly a beautiful butterfly thank you guys so much for watching this story time i hope you guys enjoyed it until next time beautiful butterflies we will be back with more videos